What's up mga kabro? And then panibagong araw, panibagong video na naman tayo ano. And I have these two cards which are the Visa card and the Master card. And we're going to tackle the differences and the similarities between these two cards. Which one's better? The Visa card or the Master card? And kung gusto mo lahat malaman yan mga kabro ano, stay tuned and panoorin mo to. So wait mga kabro, no? kung first time ako mapanood and first time mo dito sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng video na aking gagawin. All about e-money applications, all about e-money services, all about e-money applications, ayan, maasahan mo ako dyan. And for those people na kailangan ng assistance ko, just call me on my mobile number 0951-127148. Stay safe and God bless! So bago natin simulan yung video nito, so baka may magtanong kung magkano ko ba nabili yung dalawang cards na to. The Visa card and the Master card. So kapag bibili kayo na sa Paymaya ng isa is 200 pesos. Pero kung dalawa na yung bibili nyo, makakatipid kayo ng 15 pesos kasi 385 lang yung dalawa na to. So yun yung price ng dalawang cards na to. So now let us now proceed and we're about to talk first all about the differences. In this moment, we're going to disregard the Paymaya because Paymaya is another company, the Visa is another corporation, and the Mastercard is another corporation. So, to make the long story short, hindi muna natin papansinin yung Paymaya or hindi siya magmamatter sa discussion natin ngayon because we're going to tackle first the general differences and the general similarities of the Visa and the Mastercard. The real difference that stands between the Visa and the Mastercard is that your card works on the payment network that the company operates. A Visa card won't work on the Mastercard's network and vice versa. So what does it mean or bakit ang Paymaya is nag-o-offer ng Visa and the Mastercard while other e-money applications is just offering a Mastercard like the Gcash. So ito yung purpose ng Paymaya. So let me give you an example or a particular situation to understand well their differences or one of the differences. One time, aside from Coins.ph application as a trading application, mga kabro, ano, nag-open ako ng ibang application. And when I click the fund icon, then nakita ko yung deposit and the withdrawals. And when I click the withdrawal button, nakita ko doon yung mga pwedeng cards na gamitin. Ang lumabas lang doon is the Visa card ang available. So ganito mga kabro yung magiging difference. Kung ang Paymaya is just offering a Mastercard, hindi na natin pwedeng gamitin ang Paymaya application or Paymaya card bilang pang-withdraw dun sa isang particular na trading app. Since nag-offer din ang Paymaya, kaya nagamit ko yung Visa card dun sa trading platform na yun or sa trading application na yun. Another situation is may mga online platforms or store din naman na Mastercard lang yung available nila. So, paano pala kung ang Paymaya is just offering a Visa card? Kaya, dalawa yung in niya para kung alimbawang alin yung hanapin ng store or ng isang system is parehas silang available. Kaya ayun yung pagkakaiba mga kabro, ano? merong visa lang ang kailangan and merong mastercard lang ang kailangan depende sa store. Kaya mahalaga na parehas tayong merong visa card and the mastercard. Another distinction mga kabro, ano? even though the visa card and the mastercard are both American Multinational Financial Services Corporation is magkaiba pa rin sila. Kahit pareha sila ng purpose, kahit pareha sila ng pinanggalingan, is meron pa rin talagang pinagkaiba yung dalawa. So, saan ba ito? When it comes to fees, um, interest rates, rewards, sign-up bonuses, ayan, doon sila nagkakaiba. So, example, mag tayo. Halimbawa lang mga kabro. Halimbawa, iba yung charge dito sa Mastercard and iba dito yung um, fees sa Visa. So, doon sila nagkakaiba sa mga other fees na kinukonsider ng um, Visa or ng Mastercard. Another one is the interest rates. Um, it is common to the banks. So, pwede rin silang magkaiba ng interest between the Visa and the Mastercard. And the rewards, of course, and as well as the sign-up bonuses. Kailangan kasi sila ng booster. So, syempre, magkaiba sila ng company, magkaiba sila ng corporation. Kaya, ayan, um, palakasan sa customer. Kaya, nag-offer sila ng mga rewards and mga bonuses pagdating sa Mastercard and sa Visa. And take note, mga kaabro, yung interest rates na yan, yung fees and rewards or bonuses, it depends upon to the users of the card. So, halimbawa, nagkameron tayo ng balances or the loan pagdating sa interest rates. So, kahit uh, Mastercard or Visa card ang gamit mo, 
Kung hindi naman maganda yung performance mo, is wala ding mangyayari dun sa mga bonuses, rewards, and interest rates na pwede mong ma-avail. So ayun nga, no, nagbabase sa performance ng isang card user kung paano niya makukuha or ma-avail yung mga interest rates na mababa or mataas and rewards. These are the actual cards and the things inside the envelope. And kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayo ditong dalawang Paymaya information sa left and right side. So, parehas lang naman sila ng laman sa Visa and the MasterCard. And kung mapapansin nyo, yung pinaglalagyan na paper ng dalawang cards, yan yung mga information na pwede nating magamit or pwede nating maging guide kapag gagamitin natin yung ating Paymaya cards. Okay, let's take first the front card. And obvious na obvious naman na ang pinagkaiba lang nila is the logo. The Visa logo and the MasterCard logo. And sa design is parehas naman sila. The microchip, parehas din naman, and etc. Okay, now let's take the other side of the ID or the back of the ID. The first difference na makikita natin is the Visa and the MasterCard hologram. Yung may eagle na yan and the um, oval. Yan, yan yung Visa and MasterCard hologram. And kung mapapansin natin, iba din yung kanilang signature strip. Kung mapapansin natin dito sa MasterCard sa upper part, is mga dots yung nakalagay yung background niya. And sa Visa is horizontal lines na kulay dilaw and blue ang kulay. And sa dulo nila, yung may mga dots na yan, um, tinakpan ko lang kasi mga confidential information niya na na. Pwede tayo may scam kapag nalaman niya ng ibang tao. So, yan yung CVV. Yan 3 digits sa dulo ng signature strip. And yung kanilang magnetic strip naman, yung blank spaces na black sa taas, sa upper part, ano, parehas naman silang nandyan nakalagay. And halos naman lahat ng card is ganyan yung nakalagay. And the card number, ano, not the card ID number, the card number, yung may taklob na mahabang rectangle na yan, parehas din naman sila ng position. Dito sa card ID number sa may lower part So, magkaiba sila of course pero ginagamit sila, sasabihin ko lang yung purpose ginagamit sila kapag ililink natin yung ating card offline ano, sa Paymaya and yung logo ng Banknet and the plus, ayan um, sa Mastercard is just a Banknet pero sa Visa card dito sa lower part is merong dagdag na logo plus And sa kanilang information, parehas din naman sila dun sa taas. Yung mga hotline number, kung paano natin makontak, parehas lang. And some other part of the ID is parehas na. So, yun lang yung kanilang pagkakaiba and pagkakatulad. So, let us now proceed to the similarities. And these are very common. Of course, the first one is pwede natin siyang gamitan pambayad ng ating bills, offline or online. So, kahit sa mga platforms yan na pwedeng gamitin ng card, swipe, pwede yan mga kabroa, no? Another one is the withdrawals. Ang Paymaya cards, example, meron tayong laman sa ating account, pwede natin siyang withdraw kahit ang gamit pa natin is Visa or the MasterCard. So, pwede, pwede natin siyang ma-withdraw yung fund natin doon. Last but not least is, aside from their differences a while ago na sinabi ko, so napakaunti lang, ano, meaning to say, lahat na ng portion ng Visa card and MasterCard ay pagkakatulad na nila. So, napakaunti lang ng pagkakaiba nila and napakarami nung pagkakatulad. So, yung mga binanggit ko lang na pagkakaiba, yun lang yung pagkakaiba nila. And the rest is kanilang similarities na. So, yun lang mga kabro, ano? I hope na nakatulong ito and I hope na nabigyan ko yung knowledge ng idea pagdating sa Paymaya cards. And then nga mga kabro, ano? Conclusion, halos lahat parehas lang ng pinagagamitan yung dalawa. It depends upon to the user of the card or the company na nag issue ng card. So, and mga kabro, ano? Thank you so much sa support. Stay safe and God bless!